Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to work on blending in a wing component and how you can blend the sections in between a multi-section wing to make a nice smooth transition. So for starters, let's go to station 1 and we're going to try and blend section 1 into section 2 so that it has a nice continuous curve. So we have control over the inboard and outboard leading edge. It's in and out, inboard and outboard trailing edge. So if we come to the inboard leading edge and say that we want to match the outboard leading edge trapezoid, what it tells it is you want this angle to be continuous and all you can control is the strength. So if we set this down to something a bit softer like 0.5, we get a nice gentle blend and then the rest of this is straight. Now notice that we can turn this up so high that it starts to try and smash all these points into the root section. We don't really want it to do that, so let's take it back to 0.5 and then work on our trailing edge. Now the same way that we did with the leading edge, we can set this to the trailing edge trapezoid. And again, that takes this and makes it a continuous angle. And then we can soften this up to something a bit closer to like 0.5. And now we have a nice smooth transition in between section one and section two. Now there's some other controls that we have in the outboard stations. Namely, we can set matching the inboard angles for the leading edge or we can make it match some of these other parameters if we want. Let's go ahead and come back to section 0 and see what happens. Let's say that we want the leading edge outboard angle, in this case, to be 0. You know, we want it to be blunt instead of sharp right here on the nose of the wing. Well, in this case, we also have control over the dihedral. So if we play around with that a little bit, you can see that we're modifying the angle that this feature line accepts and how it blends with the next section. So be careful with how you're playing with that. Three, it was about there. Because you can come in and make some really, really interesting shapes with wing blending, but you can also set things up in a way that just doesn't physically make a lot of sense. For right now, let's take this down to something like 0.5. So we've got our leading edge set up, and we can either leave the trailing edge as this sharp peak, so if we set XE symmetry, I'll show you what I mean. We've got this nice blunt front end here, but we still have a nice peak on this end. Well, maybe we're not particularly happy with that. So let's go back to blending and say that the outboard section here needs to match our leading edge angles. In this case, it too is at zero degrees. If you want something different, you can always just give yourself control of the trailing edge angles. Now, notice here, that I've changed some of these parameters and we have a little bit of a gap. And part of that is because we have rotate foil to match dihedral on still. If we turn that off, some of that behavior is going to go away and we're going to end up with a clean surface. But remember, when we turn that off, things like our winglets are going to smash back down to a plate. That's not really what we want. So what we really want to do is set a small section down here at the root that's zero dihedral and the appropriate twist and let that blend into the rest of the wing. So that's a few ways that you can control blending in a wing component. In another video, we're going to cover a more practical example on how to blend a winglet into your wing section. 